Greetings, proud men of the north, and welcome to the Wednesday Q&A. We have a lot of questions to deal with, and it's been a while since I did one of these, so welcome back. The first question is from my main man, the Patriarchy. If you haven't liked his page on Facebook yet, I suggest you do that. Um, find European art and uh, traditional values, etc. So uh, check him out. And he asks... How do I convince a tall, powerful, brilliant Swede to abandon the gods of his homeland and forever embrace Christ as his savior? You can't, because I need my guys to model themselves after Thor and Odin. I need my guys to be aggressive now and be forward and to be as wise as possible. That's what we need. We don't, Sweden don't need more compassion. We don't need to be meek. We don't need to turn the other cheek around. We don't need to embrace the Christian way of things. But I'm sitting here with a cross on my chest. I have a cross in the back there. I have my necklace which features a cross. So uh, I'm in no way shutting the door towards Christianity. But the pagan gods are the best gods. And if I say gods I mean like teachers of life more. The moral lessons. And I do think Odin, Thor, father and son, strength and wisdom is a lot better than turning water into wine. No disrespect to any of my Christian true friends or anything like that. But Odin and Thor are better for the, um, for the Nordic spirit and the Nordic man and woman. Second question. How did I become so glorious? By adhering to the teachings of the temple. And by embracing the gym lifestyle, you have to be consistent, you have to train your ass off, but then obviously participate in other things that make you glorious as well. So read every night, go to the gym every night and read every night and then everything else will fall into place. But that's the best advice I can give you, train every day and read every day. Then some nights you won't read, some days you won't go to the gym, it's fine. You don't need to tie down your whole life, but disregard degeneracy and acquire glory and also disregard porn. Thoughts on the Yugoslavia conflict in the 90s. Uh, exactly the same as the Second World War. Good and evil is something for mere mortals. Good and evil doesn't really exist in the real world. Uh, I can't take any sides there. I know probably most people here would expect me to say Serbia. But then again, transgressions were committed on all sides. It's a war, it's a feud. No one has right, no one is wrong. You can only draw the conclusion that multiculturalism isn't working because one nation, one people is the most stable way of things, not to have a um, pattern of different ethnicities with different religions in the same territory. It doesn't work, so we can only learn from that conflict. I don't want to take a side because right and wrong, good and evil doesn't really apply. Do you think NATO is going to engage Russia and start World War III? Um, well, the more you push someone, the more you kick someone, eventually they will respond. Last year, Putin responded by annexing the Crimea, which I thought was completely in order. I would have done the exact same. And I am just surprised that Putin hasn't gone in to uh, help the Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine, because transgressions are being made against them. Like me, a Swedish guy, I have no primordial affairs affinity towards Russians. If anything, I'm hostile towards Russians. I don't really have any Russian friends, anything. Sweden has always fought against them, so I'd be much closer to Americans, etc. But looking at it for what it is, like America is more or less surrounding Russia, so I, I understand that they feel threatened. But I don't want to sit here and claim to know anything about the future. We'll see how it turns out. I hope NATO is uh, taking a chill pill, calming themselves down, leaving Ukraine, and do not be so fucking aggressive. Do you know how to play an instrument? If not, do you ever want to learn one? Uh, yes, I would want to learn one, but I wouldn't want to learn it bad enough, so I don't want to take time out of my day to make it a priority. But if I had to choose one, it would be the violin. Uh, very classy and, and glorious. Perhaps the piano as well. Ever had any major muscle imbalances? If so, how did you fix them? I deadlifted with a mixed grip for a good while, then I noticed that my back was a bit uneven, so it was simple, I switched to uh, the overhand grip, you can utilize straps as well. If you have some sort of other muscle imbalance, like for the bench press, that you are stronger 
one side or the one chest is bigger than the other, like you will have no human is perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I am not symmetrical perfectly either. But then you can utilize dumbbells so you get uh, this rate uh, way more even throughout the body. Last question. Is it even worth trying to get jacked when you're a manlet? When will I learn? <laughs> Definitely. Um, bodybuilding, the journey forward, it's not about reaching a certain goal. Like now now I want everyone to be a juicy fucking Skyrim Nord running around biggest house. It's like the important thing is that you are watching is you are taking one step forward each day. Each fucking day you go one step closer to where you want to be at and don't like I know it was a, a you know just question like um, like that but I can still elaborate a bit on it because it is really about individual journey it's not about everyone being the biggest or strongest it's just that you do what you can to go forward so that's really all you have to think about and who am I that's a secret I'll never tell XXO